Lots of people say that New Zealand employers do not prefer Indians as their employees. They only prefer people of their own kind to offer jobs. Is that true? If that was true, I won't be living in New Zealand to be honest. Because before I started my own business and become a you know an advisor for education and uh, migration to New Zealand, I did two jobs in New Zealand. My first job was here in Hamilton. I worked for a company which made uh, medical software and I was their marketing manager and um, then I moved to another company in Auckland uh, which was into internet security solutions and I joined that company as well as a marketing manager and uh, there are hundreds and thousands of uh, Indians who are gainfully employed in New Zealand. My wife is employed in a good company. My hundreds of my friends and uh, known people, my students and everybody. There will be some frustrated people who have been trying for jobs and don't get it. They are the guys who will write things like uh, uh, people, New Zealand employees do not prefer Indians as their employees. But do they have a choice is the question. There is a shortage of workers in New Zealand. And Indians and Chinese are the largest group of people coming into the country. And if Indians are able to work hard and speak well and present themselves well, does a New Zealand employer have a choice? I think in New Zealand is a fair uh, working uh, place and everybody is given an equal opportunity. If you are saying there is subtle racism, you know, uh, an employer who is of a European background or any other background is not considering uh, an Indian employee. I mean, there could be the odd case, but by and large, frankly, I think everywhere we go in New Zealand, and I'm not making this up, everywhere we go, from those demonstrators in the shopping malls, to the checkout operators in the shopping malls, to managers of good stores in the shopping malls, to senior people in government, to senior executives in uh, good companies, Everywhere there, is, there are Indians, there are Chinese, there are Brazilians, there are Vietnamese, there are everybody is there, you know, so it's kind of too broad to say that uh, New Zealanders don't prefer Indian employees. The fact of the matter is we are growing as an economy. We want to compete at the global stage. We are a big, massive country. I know a lot of people think we are a tiny little piece of land. We are not. We are as big as Japan or as big as the state of California or as big as United Kingdom in geographical size. We are so big, we could probably accommodate 20 million people in this country. We only have 4.2 or 4.3 million people in this country at this moment, which means we need a lot of workforce. And some other countries have to supply this workforce. And the two largest source countries in the world are India and China. So. Most countries, whether it is New Zealand or Australia or UK or Canada or US, whoever need workers, they have to import them from some other countries. And India and China being the two largest countries, will send in their, you know, people, people like all of you, you know, myself included, all of us, uh, all so many good Chinese friends I have. We all came because it is not just a, it's not just a desire from our side. There is also a need from these countries, especially small countries like New Zealand, there is a shortage of workers in this country.